Hey there, dear YouTube audience, and welcome to a new project on my channel. I'm, of course, the one that loves you the most. It's a love giant, as you see in the video title. We are going back in time, basically. You know, I'm gonna ramble a little bit, you know, because this has to be done. We're gonna be playing Street Fighter, the 13th anniversary collection, which overall has like i think like 12 different street fighter games from street fighter 1 the one that most uh, maybe most of you haven't even played or didn't even know that it existed all the way up to i think street fighter 3 4 3 third strike or something like that we're gonna be playing through every <clears throat> single one a big thing about this is that obviously street fighter 2 specifically is the game that basically started my love for games which is why I have also... I'm gonna have to flip the camera for this, I think. This is why, I, why this right here, this one, was basically my first tattoo that I've ever gotten three to four years ago or something. Street Fighter 2, I fucking absolutely love this game. And that's why, you know, today I was like, okay, and also, you know, got my got my M. Bison up in this. Um, that's why also I got to, I purchased today the Street Fighter 13th Anniversary Collection. We're gonna check out the Steam page before we go into the game. Uh, Street Fighter 30th anniversary, anniversary Collection celebrates Street Fighter's historic legacy with a Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. In this collection of 12, exactly, Street Fighter games, four groundbreaking breaking titles uh, let you hop online and relive the arcade experience through the online arcade mode or play with friends. Apparently, I'm not sure, but I think the online servers are shut down. I have no fucking idea, but I have no intention to be playing online because we're obviously going through the storyline. Um, so, da -da -da -da, let's see. Here we go. In this massive collection of 12 Street Fighter titles, perfect arcade balance makes it so to cons... What? Perfect arcade balance makes it to consoles and PC for the first time ever. Four groundbreaking breaking titles that you have online, yeah. Um, so... The celebration continues in a museum where fans and historians alike can follow the timeline of how Street Fighter has evolved over the past 30 years, learn more about the Street Fighter cast, view key animation sprites and the character viewer and take a behind the scenes look at the design documents that help solidify the franchise that produced generations of world warriors. I thought it would be a lot more but uh, not so much. The thing is this game has mixed reviews and I'm pretty sure most of them are of the are because of the online thing all right i just looked through basically the whole entire negative reviews and it was mostly because they added drm sure however that doesn't uh, hinder obviously our experience of experiencing 12 different street fighter titles i myself actually have played uh we can see actually right here these are the games that we have at our disposal i think you can basically see all of them um i personally have played street fighter 2 Obviously, that was the first one. New Challengers. I have played... I think this one is Turbo. Yeah, this is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So I think I played... This one is Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So I think I played that. Which blew my mind back then. I actually rented it from the video store back then. And it fucking blew my mind. Because you could actually play as Bison, Balrog, Vega, and... Balrog? Oh yeah, Sagat, obviously. Um, then I think I've played Alpha. Which was for the SNES. Yeah, SNES. Alpha 2 was also on the SNES, but I actually have it for the PS1. Um, Alpha 3, I also have that for the PS1. And after that, I actually I haven't played um, New Generation. I haven't played Second Impact. And also, I haven't played Third Strike. So, that's going to be interesting. Also, obviously, we're going to start with the very, very first Street Fighter that has ever been there. Which is obviously just Street Fighter. Which is extremely fucking terrible, but... We're gonna get into that in a little bit, but first off, obviously, we're gonna hop into the game and check out, besides the games, obviously, what the game or what the anniversary collection has to offer. And after that, we're gonna go into Street Fighter 1. But yeah, that's obviously for it. By the way, if you want to get the game yourself, this one is available for 29.99 and on a key site, namely Instant Gaming. You can actually get this for like 6 to 7 euros if you want to save a little bit of money in that sense. So... With that being said, my friends, let's hop into Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. And here we are, my friends, at the Street Fighter 30th... Whoops. 
<laughs> 30th anniversary collection, my dear friends. Before we obviously hop into the games, we're going to be taking a look at... We have Museum. So we're going to be taking a look at this. So right here we have the history. Take a journey through Street Fighter history. So this is basically a timeline of all of, of everything that has happened. All the way up until... Uh, when was this released? Can I take a look? I can. Um, 4K art. Okay. Yeah, until basically this collection has dropped. Started in 1987 with Street Fighter. We have 28 pictures to look, to look at. Street Fighter is released in arcades in two variants. At first, players had to actually punch its giant pressure-sensitive buttons. But after some time, Capcom switched to the six-button format that has become a serious standard. We have the 4K high-resolution Street Fighter a logo. <laughs> Here we have Ryu in his first inception. We're going to be taking a look at that in a second. It's so weird that he's actually wearing shoes. And it looks like Shoe Size 5 or something. <laughs> You know the Chinese, um, was it foot binding thing? Horrible, but kind of looks like this. Here we have Ken. Oh boy. Okay, another one of Ryu. Well, he has the headband, but it's way too thin. Here we have Ken again. This looks not too good. Uh, right here we have Mike Tyson. <laughs> Actually, a little bit like Mike Roke. I think it was from. King of Fighters, I think. Uh, here we have someone that we're going to be getting to know when we play Street Fighter 1. Because he is a reoccurring character. Mike isn't. Um, only Ryu and Ken so far. And this guy, but in a different uh, variation with a lot more character. Uh, also, another guy. <laughs> standard fucking ninja. I guess Ninja Gaiden in inspired, probably. Was Ninja Gaiden from Capcom? I think it was Konami, actually. Um, so yeah, inspired by that, or Hayabusa, I think it was, from Dead or Alive. But that was way later, obviously. Uh, here we have Tung Fu Ru. <laughs> That's also chi standard Chinese outfits, you know, drunken fist, something like that. Here we have Adon, actually, that um, also reappeared again in Street Fighter Alpha later on. Here we have Gen. Yeah, it should be Gen. He has been a staple, obviously, also uh, came back in Alpha. Uh, this is... Uh, guy's kind of cool, actually, with a tonfa. Which is not a tonfa, but a fa, maybe? <laughs> this guy literally looks like... Was his name Machine Gun Kelly in Rocky... The last Rocky one before the one that came a decade later? Kind of reminds me of this douchebag. Uh, that guy? Sure. We have Sagat, obviously. Oh, okay, here we go. That's more like that's more like it. That's obviously Ryu. It's still so weird that he's wearing shoes. It just looks weird. Okay, then we have Ken. Good, looking good. That's more like it. Now you can oh I can zoom in. Here you can basically see what how this guy looks later on. A little bit more high detailed detailed guy. Actually he has two. Of these well, it's just sticks, I guess. You have the ninja again. Uh, basically Wolverine also. He didn't have Wolverine claws in the other one. You know, he had a shuriken though. Here is gun. That's 100 percent gun. He hasn't changed too much. And we have this guy from Rocky. <laughs> and we have Tung Fu Ru. That looks better actually. This is an Eldritch Horror, <laughs> if I've ever seen one. Jeez, I played a game called Uncanny Tests not too long ago, you know? This this could have been right out of fucking Uncanny Tests. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or the Mandela catalog for that sense. Uh, th this guy, the bald head, the egg head. Ah, here you have good old Adon. Beautiful. And... Oh, he doesn't look too good, man. <laughs> but Sagat, a little bit more high-detailed one with an egg head as well. Okay. 28 pictures on this. Let's see. 1988 Street Fighter cartridge version announced. Fighting Street. Street Fighter CD-ROM version is released. Oh boy. With the... Yeah, with the... Uh, Terry... Okay. Terry Bogart stage in the background there. Mount Rushmore. America, motherfucker. Jesus. Look at this. Can I... Yeah, we can I... Jesus. An 8-bit cartridge version of Street Fighter was created but never sold to players. 
This is one screenshot is the only evidence we have. Does the game itself still exist? They made it. Like fucking Capcom. You should know. Street Fighter 87. 89, sorry. Final Fighter prototype is Street Fighter 89 exhibited at, at arcade show. I remember this. Yeah. Street Fighter 89. Later then obviously released. One year later? Yeah, one, re one year later released as Final Fight. Oh, dude, I love this. And the, and the arcade port looks so fucking juicy, man. Street Fighter Home Computer. Street Fighter is, is released for various home computers. This original box art was created just for those versions. All right. America. <laughs> That's cool. America on the top, and then you have the fucking uh, Chinese um, Great Wall of China on the bottom. <laughs> Still Ryu with shoes is so weird. And that's an entirely different Ryu. I mean, look at the drawn shit. This is more like Jean-Claude Van Damme kind of Ryu. The one that they also call... Do we have the fucking Street Fighter movie here? 20... Oh, Street Fighter 2010. Do you do you all remember the angry video game nerd ver uh, video for that? Oh my god. This is literally the Terminator. Do we have the Street Fighter movie here somewhere? Or is it literally just... I mean, we also have Final Fight in here. Oh, Street Fighter. Dude, this... I'm gonna look through all of this. What the fuck is this? The Street Fighter Memorial album gives an inside look into the lives of the world warriors. Bruh, oh my god. This is interesting. Oh, this is Ryu. Okay. If we have Zangief, obviously. Zangief. Guile. Aight. He has a wife. Interesting. We have E. Honda. Blanca, of course. Dalsim. Ken. He's the most, the most vanilla one out of them all. Guile again. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is Resident Evil. Street Fighter 2 merchandise is a hot Christmas item. We have Guile t-shirt, obviously. Dalsim. That's some nice drip. Nothing I would actually buy nowadays. Uh, this one? Yeah, the fucking Are You Tough Enough poster right there. That's pretty sick. Yeah, shirts have become way better, actually, than this. What does it say? Serena 2 merch is flying off the shelves. This is just some of the merchandise that was available to American fans. Yeah. I don't even know when... Um, oh, Fei Long in the back there. Oh, it's Street Fighter 2, the animated movie debuts. Fuck yeah. Fucking awesome, yeah. Which means... Let me see. We have a lot of... A lot of info here. So Shin Akuma. I rem I don't remember when the movie was dropped, but I'm not sure if I mentioned this because it has been like three days ago since I recorded this, but I actually liked it. It's kind of hot trash. But um, it's it, I, I like it. I like it. Comic book series. Oh, actually, I have the... Yeah, Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition for PS2. I actually have that one. It also came... Actually, yeah, it came with the anime. It came with the anime. English uh, dub, if I recall correctly. Alpha Anthology. Puzzle Fighter. Has been... Nah, it was way before 2015, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, it has to be. We're 2024 at this point, yeah. I don't know, maybe maybe they didn't list it, which is kind of weird, but but there was also a game for it. Obviously, Street Fighter, the movie, the game. <laughs> maybe I just glanced over it, but I would assume that if, if it had a game, it would have also had a cover here. Maybe I just didn't realize it. Oh, Street Fighter Collection, I have that. That one actually had, that, that was for the PS2, PS1. Yeah, I remember this box art. Had that for Christmas, and I actually saw it in the box and was like, I got it. Ah, oh, got it, man. Mmm. From a, bought from a catalog back in the day, man. Ah, oh, that was fucking sick. And I had to wait like until Christmas to actually physically play it, you know. But I saw it, you know. Ah, uh, and it had Alpha Two, and Alpha Two was so good. The other one was just a port of I think Street Fighter Hyper Street Fighter Two. It kind of sucks. It doesn't. It's an anime series. Anim animated wait uh, yeah animated movies the anime yeah I don't see it anywhere it's kind of it's kind of sad oh well maybe they just didn't list it but again there was a game to it we have the characters here 
Oh my boy, yeah. Okay, we have Street Fighter. Uh, this, yeah. And we have Street Fighter 2. Here we have Balrog, e Honda, Ryo, Sagat, Hyper Survivor with Akuma in the mix. Adon again in Street Fighter Alpha and Hyper's... Hyper? No, Street Fighter 3, new generation. Makoto, some characters actually only in this one, 12. Q? Q has been coming back for Street Fighter 5. Not sure for 6. Oro, we have Iwuki Hugo, which is based on... Uh, Andore, I think, from uh, Final Fight. Actually, do we have poison somewhere here? Apparently not. Maybe she was... Oh, Evil Ryu. Cody! Cody from Final Fight 1, obviously. Yeah, apparently, uh, poison was has only been a thing ever since... Um, Street Fighter 5, I guess? Here we have Kami. Ah, okay, so we have also the different kind of sprites. This one is used for all the Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 things, and then the Alpha series used this sprite. We can get different Spiral Arrow. We have Cannon Spike here. Axle Spin Knuckle, obviously, that one. Sick. Okay, we can also get an a little bit of an overview. She has she was born in at the 6th of January. Doesn't say when. Uh, 1 meter 65 at 46 kilograms. All right. We also have the measurements. I'm sure. She likes cats. That's why she's my main. Dislikes everything when she's in a bad mood. And special abilities, knife throwing. We have also the her bio, the fighting style. Nice. Nice. Let's see, music. Oh, yeah. The thing is, this one, obviously, everything that we have here is the... Um, the arcade port. I obviously am familiar with the SNES versions P and the PS1 versions and the PS2 versions technically. So they should uh, sound different to what I remember. And let's go with one of the best ones, actually. High quality, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is so good. You know what would be cool, actually, here? If you could now also take a look at this at her stage. You know, as in this case, especially from Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, just take a look at the stage, you know, like zoom in, zoom out, take a look at the entire thing. That would be that would be awesome. <laughs> Let's actually take a look at Street Fighter 2. The, the cool thing is, there is an interview interview with the creator of the original Street Fighter 2 music on YouTube. That woman is an absolute fucking legend. She also explains how she came up with the idea for the song for uh, Blanca, especially. This oh, that, that woman, man. She was the only one who made this. This is insane. This is all from one person. And obviously, I think the probably the most uh, well-known one is... Um, I see him there, but that's the ending. Um, Here we go. <laughs> or... Ooh. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, okay. And you know, Street Fighter Alpha 2, I think, overall has just the best, uh, best songs. Let me check out Done. That should be extremely fucking good. And high quality. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the funk. They didn't came through in the with the SNES sound chip at all. Ooh. Okay, and Adon? Ah, 
this shit doesn't get you pumped and no one will. Or nothing will. Ah, this is good, man. We're gonna have a grand old fucking time with this one. But then again, you know, it would have been even better if you could just zoom, like, look through the stages, you know? That would have been fucking amazing. Okay, we have Making of Street Fighter, the original Capcom pitch for Street Fighter. Wow, this has survived. Okay, the original Japanese shits, even. Damn, son. This is sick. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I remember this because I actually just played this. This one hasn't made it into game, though. This one did, then this one did. All right. Making of Street Fighter 2, 72 pictures. My god. Oh, yeah. Chun Li. Yeah, okay. Feeling it? What is this fucking Crash Bandicoot? The island would have been shown in the game as a scrolling image. The seven stages in order city, boat, waterfall, forest, cave, bridge. And finally, Temple on Cliff. What stages would have been then? Well, Forest would have been Blanca. City? Boats? Ken? Uh, waterfall? Blanca again? <laughs> Cave? Akuma? Hasn't been in the game yet, but still. Temple on Cliff could have been Bison? Or actually, actually he's Vega in... The thing is, they changed the names. The one that we know as as uh, Bellrock is obviously Bison, M. Bison, Mike Bison, Mike Tyson, because it makes more sense. The one that we know as Vega is actually... What was he? Who was Vega? I think... I'm not sure, but I think Vega was Balrock. I think Sagat remains as Sagat and M. Bison, that we don't know, the one that we know as M. Bison, is actually Vega. But apparently, you know, then the guy that I watched that mentioned this also said, like, well, maybe they just thought that, you know, Americans don't think Spanish names are that scary, so they just changed it. Ah, the city from stage one. The idea of having an audience in the stage backgrounds, which never happens in the original Street Fighter, w was present in this proposal. This looks like the. What was it? Pau Pau Cafe, Cafe in uh, Final Fight. And given that many people that worked. Not Final Fight, uh, Fatal Fury. And given that many. The people that worked at Fatal Fury, a couple of them that uh, then founded Neo Geo, were actually present for Street Fighter 2, which is apparent. Um. You see the parallels there, then. So they got this idea, and apparently the people who had this idea then switched. That's why. You, that's why you also. That makes sense because in Fatal Fury you have this overworld thing. You remember with Metro? Not, it's not Metro City, but you know, with the whole Metro, not Metro City, with the whole Bay Area. That's what it was. With the whole Bay Area thing, this is kind of like this. Only that it's not scrolling, obviously. Cave from stage 5. Compared to the original version of Street Fighter 2, the design came across as bland and empty. That's basically Akuma stage in Street Fighter Alpha 2. <laughs> straight out of camp. Straight out of camp. Capcom. <laughs> okay, top left. That's the guy from Street Fighter 1. Apparently with an anger problem. Chun Li. Edge with a lot of less edge from rival schools. Top right is Gus from Recess. <laughs> Bottom left is uh, Mass Muscle from Super Punch Out. Pun Super Punch Out. Next to him is Cody, the discount version. Next to him is, <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, obviously, it's Dalsim. I know the, the 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 Indian guy from Punch Out. That guy mixed with Dalsim, and then. Yeah, Balrock slash M. Bison, obviously. Slash Mike, slash any boxer that was uh, based on Mike Tyson at that point. Looks like straight out of fucking Capcom, though. No. Album cover. Ah, here we have Akuma. Oh, what was this? So, for like Alpha and Alpha 2. Yeah. Okay, obviously, Akuma, main staple of this one. We have a silly old Chun Li right here. All right, then. Ken Ryu, obviously. Where's the. Who the fuck is this? That guy never appears, whoever it is. It's Daigo from Rival Schools again. There's the crossover. Oh my god, you look demented, my dude. 
You look absolutely demented. But it's so cool to see Rose on the bottom left. It's so cool that these sketches actually survived. Sakura, my girl. Love her in Street Fighter Alpha. That's sick. Was that Kami? Kami didn't make a, a make an a, didn't 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 make it to Alpha. Yeah, it's Kami. Look at that. Or Aki Man. What the, what the hell? What is this? What is this monstrosity there? In the middle. What is this? Here we have uh Guy and Ken and Sakura down there. Alright. Oh yeah, the stage. The Akuma mode stage. Horrible. <laughs> Development art for Street Fighter 3, I guess. Oh, 89, there's a lot. I know this guy. I forgot his name though. He's a grappler. That's Ibuki, I think. The only thing I know that this could potentially be Ibuki or the Kunai up there, and I think she's the only one in the Street Fighter universe that uses Kunai. Could be wrong. Well, here we have an Elder Choro. Alright. Obviously, Ken. What was his name? 12, I think. We've seen that earlier. That's Jin and Jun. I think. Apparently, the ending. Uh, this was Dudley, the guy that replaced Balrog. Balrog always had more style. We have Ken. At Ken Ryu, obviously. What was this fucker's name? And for some reason, I have Charlie in my head, but that's not it. Ibuki, obviously. Okay. <clears throat> that's fucking that's fucking dope. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at all of the fucking sketches because this is really fucking amazing, actually. And you have all oh wait. Do we have him actually have him here? Um Alex! That's what it was, right? Right, 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 right. The grappler, yeah. NYZ Pizza Connoisseur is a special ability. He dislikes people who cause trouble and broccoli. Broccoli is sick. Likes training and his family. Or training his family. Maybe you can also combine that. First appearance was 1997 in Street Fighter 3. Let me see, actually, then. The oldest ones... Wait, what is this? World? And then we have Street Fighter? Oh, this is all of them? I Maybe? No? No, 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 no. That's not, that's not it. We also see the first appearances here. So these people are the ones that basically appeared in the very first one. Yeah, we have Adon, Ryo Sagat, Birdie, Gen, Ken. There are a couple of other characters that only appeared in this one and then never again. These are the ones that have also appearances after <clears throat> Street Fighter 1. So these are the only ones that basically survived the first game. Um, the only ones that actually made it in the next game as playable characters were Ryu and Ken. And then Sagat, obviously, as a uh, boss character. Um, did I mention this here, actually? Oh, M. Bison, my friends. M. Ma fucking Bison. Yeah, right here from Alpha. So they reused the sprites? Because this one looks extreme. Like, it looks, it looks like it's the same. But then, obviously, for Alpha, they made new... Um, new art. Um... Didn't, don't they mention that they have... That they gave him a different name? No, not really. Huh. But he likes world domination and psycho power and dislikes weak people and incompetent underlings. Special abilities, hypnosis. Alright. Alright. Actually, who do you like? Uh, fucking... Yeah, likes American coffee. Dislikes the Natu Ryo fed him while he was in Japan and special abilities is darts. I thought he likes patriotism. Apparently, I was wrong. But okay, my friends, that was it for this little endeavor. So now, what we're going to be doing... I hope my mouse cursor wasn't in the fucking thing the entire fucking time. Um, now that we have took, taken a look at this, the on I, I tried the online mode. Apparently, it's dead, but the game has is like six years old at this point or something like that. And I think there are like 50 concurrent players. Oh, Rio, you look... You look rough. Um... Can this... Yeah, thank you. Can this picture change? I was about the same. Um, yeah, given that... I think there are like 50 concurrent players online, but I haven't been able... Your forehead, Guile. I uh, haven't been able to find a game yet, but maybe that will change. However, we're gonna get going into offline mode. Um, what we are going to be doing from Street Fighter 2 onwards is we're going to go into training mode. And then here we have the different kind of um, games uh, with the different um, movesets. 
that the characters have. So if we if we play Street Fighter 2, we can go into this one, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. We can change. Oh, look at the stage. Look at this. That's kind of cool. So we can choose a stage and then we can choose a character. Um. Hmm. Thought it would say the original name here, but no. Uh, we can change the stage and then we can ch choose our character to just, you know, practice our um, combos and shit like that. However, we're gonna go into Arcade, and here we have Street Fighter, release date August 1987, the hardware is Custom Jamma. Everything else is uh, CP system, okay. So this is the only one that was made on Custom Jamma, we can also go in Game Info, and get a little bit of an in-depth look here. You know what, we're gonna go into the game, so let's fucking see. <clears throat> Playable characters too. Street Fighter is a game of many firsts. While it never reached the popularity of its sequels, for good, for good reasons. This is how the arcade looked also. Um, Street Fighter was a pioneer. It was arguably the first fighting game to use as to use special command-based techniques such as quarter circle movements, who don't work, and button combos. The game's three punch buttons and three kick buttons, all representing various strengths, also became a Became something close to a standard. This is the game that started it all in single player mode. Ryu is the only playable character. Ryu must fight through 10 opponents, including Sagat as the final boss. Each round lasts only 30 seconds. And if the third round ends in a tie, the computer controlled opponent will win by default. In multi multiplayer, both players lose. Well, in multiplayer, the second player is represented by Ken, Ryu's sparring partner and rival. These were the only two playable characters in the game, and they played identically. The thing is, they did something similar with fight Fatal Fury, where you had... Okay, you had... Terry... Joe Higashi... Terry Bogart, Joe Higashi, and Andy Bogart. The thing is, they played differently, but those were the only ones that you can play as in, Fatal, in the original Fatal Fury one. There were, obviously, the enemy-controlled... AI enemies, but you can never play them or choose them. They obviously want to di wanted to diverge as much as possible from Street Fighter 2, but having only three playable characters is not how you do it. Limiting your roster to three characters when Street Fighter had, I think, eight is not the way to do it, you know? It had a little bit more story, but, you know, just as a little side note. The only special techniques available were the Hadouken, sh the Shoryuken, and the Tatsumaki Senpu Senpukyaku. Each of these is extremely powerful. Yep. The Shoryuken can remove the entire life bar if it hits properly. These moves weren't taught by the game, though. Players were meant to figure them out for themselves. On top of regular battles, there are two bonus games where players can compete for points. One, one has players break a group of boards held at different heights. The other is a brick-breaking game in which players must press a button at the right time as Ryu's strength meter moves up and down. We have some trivia. Two versions of the game were released. One used the traditional six-button layout, with each button representing a different strength of a punch or kick. The deluxe version used two pressure-sensitive pads, one for punches, one for kicks, which players would hit with varying strength in order to communicate the intensity of their attacks. It was quite difficult to control properly. It's not like it's as if the game is easy to control in the first fucking place. In the non-Japanese versions of the game, Ryu and Ken's voices were dubbed uh, to announce the name of their moves in English, okay. Subsequent localizations left the characters' voices in the original Japanese. Bill Craven's names and likenesses is painted on a shuttered pub in Birdie Stage in England. Bill Craven was Capcom's vice president of sales and marketing in the US in the 80s and is represented in England. And the staff put him in the game to honor his dedication to Capcom's success in the West. Craven's, pa Craven's passed away on March 29th, 2007. Salutations, brother. Tips and tricks. If you're good enough, you can defeat any opponent with a single Shoryuken. Each special technique is meant to take off one third of the opponent's life. That's balanced. But if you get close enough, or if the opponent jumps in, your Shoryuken can hit two or three times. The same can happen with a Tatsumaki Senpyukyaku, but the technique is much, much, much more reliable with a Shoryuken. Maybe Ken was on something all along. Nice. Okay. That's pretty cool. And we can also, whoops, that's the wrong button. We can also set the difficulty to four if you really want to tor torture your fucking self. We have the round length, which 100 is the least. All right. Well, with that being said, my friends, here goes nothing. We start off the Street Fighter uh, 30th anniversary. 
anniversary edition with Street Fighter. We're going over time today with Street Fighter 1, the one that started it all. And you're going to get a giant meltdown probably. Here we fucking go. Okay, this port is a piece of shit. <laughs> I just wanted to mention that because... I just tried everything, the game, when I go out of the game to set it up in OBS, it always goes into window mode, so I go, so I can't choose game capture mode, it, it, a lot of weird shit, but you know, technicalities, fuck it. Street Fighter, um, we can actually go into game info, and here we can actually also change the game difficulty, put it on two round length, that's the minimum, okay, well, uh, sure, um, right. Let's go! Oh, this is the original arcade port. Capcom 8, 1987. Also, the cool thing is, if I put press start here, we can also <clears throat> change the screen to original, which is a little bit smaller, though. Full, we can go widescreen if we want to. I'm not going to be doing that for this one, I don't think. I'm going to go full. So we have this beautiful artwork in the back. Um, we can go TV, which makes it... Oh boy. Okay. Which makes the game look like this. We have Arcade, which is a little bit more darker, a little bit more... Arca oh my god, okay. We're gonna turn that off. We can also turn the borders off if we want to, but... I like them. It makes it a little bit more arcade -y. Uh, yeah, you can also see my controller inputs now. So, let's fucking go. Press start button, one player only. We have one credit. Whoops. Uh, sure. Japan. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Michael? Okay. Wait. But oh my. Okay. All right then. This. Oh God. Okay. That's a, that's an SRK. Ooh. The con well. Nah. The controls are... Oh, okay. You see when I press and when the kick comes out. This is a delay. Oh my god, dude. Okay, wait. How do I... Where's the Hado... Oh my god, the Hadoken doesn't work. Oh god. Okay, I lost that one because he has more HP. Okay, gotcha. Oh god, the, con the controls here. Oh. But also, this guy, Retsu, is also... Can you do a fucking... I can only do SRKs, apparently. Do we have... You have a Tatsu? Oh, there it is. Oh, my... Ooh, the damage, dude. That, that, they were kissing, kidding with this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. This is rough. <laughs> also, I don't know. Like, he doesn't walk normal. Like, if I just walk back, he walks normal here. But here, this is just like this little hop. Who are you, Eddie Gordo? Oh, my God. <laughs> How much damage does this do, actually? I want to hit someone. That is something. Not the... Oh, God, dude. Background looks kind of okay. I'm I'm trying. Dude, I'm trying to do a fucking Hadouken, and it doesn't work. There it is. Well, this didn't hit. Because hit detection, I guess. Come on. Oh, I made, I made it. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him! <laughs> Geki! Round one! Okay, Michael? Michael! <laughs> what does it mean, fight now? Oh my god, okay. Tatsu is also good damage, actually. I like this, I like this uh, stage, though. Yes, Shuriken! Oh, I do the Tatsu there. Okay, down seam. Ah, oh, dude. It, chip damage. Okay. Chip damage is also a thing. Ooh, the sound soundtrack also is... Mm. But yeah, you know, it's the first one. It's 1987. I wanted to get him into the Tatsu. Do the... Do it. Ryu. Please. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, there it is. Dragon fire? Oh, guys, this is not good. This is this is absolutely atrociously bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, oh, what? That's the wrong button. There we go. Okay. I guess we have infinite cut credits, I hope. It doesn't display it anywhere. It said one at the beginning. Oh, also the timer. Oh, Jesus. Bullet time effect there. Oh! All right. That's a perfect. The timer is on the bottom left. Just check how fast it goes down. This is insane. Michael! Oh! Yeah, it's Dragon Fire, actually. It's not a Hadouken. That's why he didn't do the Hadouken, because he doesn't know what the Hadouken is. Yes! There you go. It's it's sort of the, still the same input, I guess. It's just extreme. That's a number perfect. Oh, ready? Uh. Oh, okay. I thought we we're gonna. What the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> Nine Eleven Redux. Jo <laughs> That's a nice character select picture you portrayed you got there, my dude. Joe. Okay, this is the USA. Funky. Okay, got it? Okay, baby? I don't know. Also, it's a little bit of a guile theme. A weird one, a bad one, but it is. Do we have the Empire State Building in the back? Sorta? Sorta, I think. Oh my god, dude. Ah, oh, the inputs. Come on. SRK, please. Well, now I might. Fundamentals, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. If it, neither SRK nor Dragonfire works, then you just gotta go with fundamentals. Clown fundamentals, that is. Futurama. Michael! <laughs> you can't fucking tell me that, that, it, that it doesn't say Michael there. Oh, my dude, what the hell? I'm pretty sure also this is a one button fighter. I think we only have like normals, basically. We don't have like light punch or medium punch. Oh, uh, wait, it's oh, L, uh, no. No! Okay. Okay, we still start there. Good. We just lost our high score. Michael! Okay, we connected. <laughs> Everyone, like, the fucking hopsies are so weird. Alright! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I would like to know how they got so fucking popular that they actually made Street Fighter 2 after this one. And I guess, like, it's, it was probably the best fighting arcade back in the day, maybe? Like, well, what else was around? It was probably the only one. Mike! Yeah, Mike Tyson. Yeah. Oh, are you? Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. jeez. He doesn't give a shit about f fireballs. Oh, that, was, that was a low blow. Okay, he's, he's a lot slower. He's like a little, a little bit like Geef. That's the thing, like, sometimes you get an SRK, sometimes you get a fireball. <clears throat> it's, a little, it's, it's like... It's luck. I think. Either that, or the inputs are extremely strict. Well, actually, let me see. Special moves? Yeah, Hadouken, Shoryuken, Tatsumaki, Sem... Senpukyaku. It is the same input. But... 
I mean, <laughs> there you go. That's a that's a tattoo. It doesn't work. Now now the Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Dragon Fire. Thank you. That, I'm doing it. You see it. Oh. Also, <laughs> the stage uh, Terry Bogart is somewhere. You know, before the screen, he's just like driving by on the train. He's like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> Oh, ready? Yes. Boom. Okay. That worked. Japan? Nope. China? Yes. China. Lee. Not Chun Li, but Lee. Uh, Great Wall of China? Yes. <laughs> of course. I mean, this is earlier than Fatal Fury Special, obviously, but... Tung Furu's stage is a little bit better than this. Oh my god, dude, he's great! Oh, okay, Jesus Christ, he's fast. Do I do double input? Maybe then it works better? Ah, uh, the music is a fever dream, by the way. Come on! Oh! So close. So close. Michael! We be already already beat him. Blocking is for losers. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. Shit got real. Oh my god, dude, that took way longer than it should have. God damn. So I yeah, just spam fireballs and fucking tatsus, basically. Ugh. Oh, Gen. Okay, so that's the guy we know. When did he come back? I think in Street Fighter Alpha. Ooh. Ooh. That's a cool stage team now. Also, he's not dying yet, I guess. Oh my god! Okay, this is the next fucking roadblock that we get, I guess. But the fucking music here is actually... That's... That's the first good, good tune here, actually. Okay. Ah, these inputs! There you go. Ah. That's gonna be great when we go into Street Fighter 2 where the inputs actually work, but this one is just fucking goddamn, dude. You see me doing this and this with kick or punch respectively, and it just doesn't... It just doesn't. Sometimes it does, but it's just completely random. Yeah, and then sometimes just this fucking happens. Oh my god, dude. Oh, you got, you got a round off me earlier, alright. L G There you go. Let's see if it takes as long as it did for fucking Lee. I couldn't really pay attention much to Gen, but uh fighting style seems kinda sorta similar. Oh, that was the first normal fucking fireball that I've hit, I think. <laughs> After what, like, 22 minutes? <laughs> that was the first normal fluent fireball that I felt. Pause, I guess. That was actually an SRK. That's the second fireball. How fucking... 
How fucking precise does it have to be? You know, like, the one thing that matters in platformers is good controls. Whoops. Yeah, that's all that's also the case for fucking fighting games. Like this this is no fun because I don't feel like I deserve it. That's a little bit because I don't block. But you know like my inputs should fucking work. And they don't. And I get fu yeah and then then end the step. And then this this happens then afterwards. What was this what was this jump that I had there? It was like nothing. Okay. That was a little bit planned, but I was cutting the corner again. <clears throat> it seems like the enemies just want to get on, better, on the better side of the screen, which is obviously where I'm standing at. Yeah, yeah, you see this? They're like, oh, inputs are easier on that side. Well, they are not, actually. Not in this one, at least. Mm, this, this sweep that you saw, by the way, you know, the, the kick... Crouch kick, that is the one that he also has in Street Fighter Alpha, so... Some stuff... ...is taken over straight to Alpha. Ugh. Luck. Complete luck. Maybe I'm relying on specials too much, too. That could be a thing. Maybe I just go, should go for fundamentals. Man. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. It, I mean, I guess it has to be when the when the bar is full yellow. But it it's it, it's easier than it looks. Birdie. Now he's obviously a different ethnicity. Here he was still white, which is interesting. But still in England or from England. Do 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 do. No. Well, that would, that would have been Sodom, actually. Or Katana. Junk! That shit on the right literally just said junk. <laughs> Who is that? Br Bill what? Bill Cravens? Who is that? Who is Bill Cravens? Is that his father? It looks a little bit like it. He has the same hairdo, at least. This? Okay. Heads... Heads pub? That's a horny ass pub. Blockheads. All right, can we go here? I want to see like what the rest of fucking England looks like. No Buckingham Palace or anything. No, literally just fucking dirt. Crouch kick. Guy's big. That's his weakness. Yup. Yup. There we go. Ristorante Donal Donaldia. Velvet something. And Landry something. <laughs> All right. Well, Birdie now has way more character and is way cooler. Eagle. Oh, that's the guy with the tonfas. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's a cool stage, dude. Horrible fucking music, but goddamn, the stage looks awesome, actually. A little bit like Adon stage. This is cool. Is this Germany? It could be. Eagle is not really like a German name, but it could be. The bridge also back there? Yeah, I think at, at, at least it's Europe. Actually, no, we're England. Yeah, that's, you know, Birdie was in England, obviously, so this is still England. We haven't flew, we haven't flown, flown, anything, anywhere. Oh. Crouch, uh, crouch kick might be the meta here. I don't know. Again, like, the, the most infuriating thing is that the fucking inputs don't work, for the most part. That's, like, the thing that really fucking aggravates the fuck out of me here. Yeah, sometimes you get an SRK when you go for a... That this was actually a, a fucking Tatsu. I'm trying a Tatsu here. Just doesn't, 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 doesn't want to, doesn't want to work. Guy has some cool moves, though. Also, the scar down here, that guy is cool. That guy's cool. Wait. It pauses the timer, actually, every time you hit a letter. That was actually 600 points over the last... over our last record. Oh, 
Yeah, when I get a Tatsu, I'm just way too far away from the enemy. Also, obviously, I want to go for specials because they actually deal damage. Because if you see how much a fucking fireball basically drains the or health of the health bar, normal attacks just do like like a little bit, you know, like basically nothing in comparison. Yeah, you see this? This is why you go for specials, but then they don't work. Crouch kick. Ah, I was about to say finishing off with the Tatsu, but obviously we don't. Oh my god. <laughs> again, music is atrocious again, but goddamn, the stage looks awesome. I give it that. I mean, yeah, this is literally what you hear when you're having nightmares. That's two fireballs. I'm trying it again. That's an SRK. Now it worked. You saw like four inputs. The fourth one worked. Jesus. Okay, we have one more after him. Do we? I think. Oh my god, that SRK damage there. You see this? This is fucking insanity, man. Good. Well, that was way easier than the previous two <laughs> attempts. I'm ready. Okay. I like that one. That's the one that I can manage and that I actually understand. Thailand? Yeah. Thailand. Adon. Ah, it's two per fucking stage. So it's Adon and Sagat, I guess. Ooh, nice stage. That was cool. What the fuck happened? What in the fuck happened? Also, another fucking nightmare fuel music here. Oh! Okay, next roadblock. <laughs> he looks like fucking Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Look at him! That's amazing. The hell? What is it? What are his moves? Look at this. What is this? What? What? What is this? Is this like a two-frame fucking flip? <laughs> it's fucking weird. That's paired up with the music. Oh. You have to play this for yourself in order to feel how frustrating this shit is. Well, that worked. Little really just spamming fireball slash SRKs and that kind of works, I guess. <clears throat> Sagat? <laughs> and without the the scar, look at that. Oh, yeah, okay, he has the tiger, uh, tiger shits. Okay. Oh, the fucking chip damage, man. And he also has the tiger in the... Tiger crush. Tiger crush? Was that the tiger? That one? I think. 
Tiger. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that guy is... The guy's fast! Oh, I can literally just crouch under his tiger shits. Tiger knee, and he hit. That is doable, though. That is doable. <laughs> I fucking loved Zagat back then. If I would have seen him like this, I'd be like, what the fuck is this big ass baby, man? <laughs> God, he looks terrible. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> it almost kind of cool because he looked like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead, but he is just like, they, they did him dirty. Oh, double fireball? Hell, hell yeah. Oh, right in the tiger. Right in the tiger. One more. Oh. That is, I think you have to block that normal. If you block low, like I tried there, apparently it, it goes through. Oh. That's actually how you got a scar. If you watch the anime, which was actually fucking good, the Street Fighter anime. I even like the movie, you know, like the live action one, as weird as, as that one is. Get this fucking nightmare fuel, by the way. Stop, thank you. Um, yeah, the anime is fucking awesome, and you actually, like, the first thing is actually a fight between him in the Street Fighter 2 Alpha stage. Between these two. And yeah, he does an SRK reel, and that's basically how Sagat also got a scar that he has in Street Fighter 2. Okay, spamming SRKs doesn't work against him, it seems. Ah. <laughs> Got this music. <laughs> Let's see. Spam SRKs. Nope, that doesn't work. So, I guess we go back to spamming <laughs> Tatsu's. <laughs> But spamming SRKs worked previously. Apparently, he found out about my method, so we're just gonna go with 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 Tatsu's then. Never mind. Yeah, and I block load, and he goes with this tiger knee that I can't block when I'm low. Uh. <laughs> he was doable at the beginning. What the hell has happened, dude? Maybe I should talk to him too much. <clears throat> He broke through my defense. Ooh. Okay. And now we fuck it up immensely. Check that shit out. Fuck's sake! That I... Okay, yeah. That I guess that was a Tatsu input. Ugh. Okay. He also has tiger knees when he just, like, stands. Like, th this. Like, th sometimes he gets launched forward, sometimes he doesn't. That's kind of weird. Ah! I don't know what I did differently for the first round. Ah, well, it's the last one. That's the final stretch. That's the final boss. Let's go. That was basically no damage we did against him. It's also fucking depressing as fuck. I've... You can't block this, you have to duck it, I guess. But then you duck and then he goes for the tiger knee, which you can't... Which you can't block because you have to stand up for that. Oh! Terrible. Yeah, he opens with a tiger knee always, it seems. Ha, what? Yeah, you see? Then I blo- then I- then I got- then I duck, immediately tiger knee. Which is also, like, three frames or some shit. Yeah, I duck, immediately tiger knee. 
And I get assaulted. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Sagat. Jesus. Fucking finally! Jesus Christ, this was some garbage, <laughs> man. So here are the people that we have killed. Retsu, Geki, Joe, Mike, Lee, Gen, Birdie, Eagle, and good old uh, Don as well as Sagat. Jesus Christ. You have earned the distinction of King of the Hill. Bah! But remember, you have no time to rest on your glory, for there is always someone waiting in line to knock you off the top. Be prepared to be challenged. Alright, my friends. Piston Tucker. Finish Hero. FZ. Uh, what? Never fucking mind. This game is uh, is complete fucking garbage tier. Alright? Now, obviously, you know, it is pretty bare bones. It is probably probably the shittiest, less refined um, game on the entirety of the collection here. However, it has to be said... Fuck this bullshit. It has to be said that I did this. Over the course of two days, I recorded this. Okay? I got fucking mad. I quit the first day. I tried it the second day, got mad, quit it, and now I almost quit it. However, I found out that you can actually save games. So basically what I did for the Sagat fight especially is... I hit a fireball when it worked. I hit him. I went into pause, and then I saved. And then I loaded, obviously. You know, that, that doesn't matter, you know, better he's died, better he's died. That's how long I've been fucking trying this today. Um, yeah. Problem with this entire fucking uh, dog shit game is that the inputs don't work. You know, as I mentioned during the, pl during the, um, during playing, um, when I haven't lost my mind, was the main problem, or the main thing in jump and runs is that the controls have to be good. If the controls are shit, then the game is shit, because you basically can't really play. You know, that's like the most important thing that you can, that, that it actually, you know, works. The inputs here don't fucking work. And that's the main issue. Tatsu doesn't work. Fireball, as it's called. The Hadouken doesn't work. The SRK doesn't work. You know, and if the inputs don't work, then the entire game basically doesn't work and is shit. The delay on the fucking heavy kick, I mean, you saw it with the controller, you know, is god awful. Um, it seems to be a three-button fighter, however, because if we take a look at the controls here, then it says light, medium, and heavy. Right bumper? Yeah, would be the, yeah, would be <laughs> literally this one. Um, so yeah, you have a heavy punch and you also have a heavy kick, which are the triggers that you see here, basically. Um, yeah, the, however, the main problem, obviously, is if the, and, you know, we have, we have the special moves, we have the SRK fireball and the dragon fire, sorry, that's the, that's the fireball, the dragon fire and the tatsu, however, as I mentioned, they don't work when you want them to, you know, that's why I was just fucking spamming fireballs or dragon fire at the end against Zagat, and as I mentioned, hit him, save, I, he fucking kills me load. And the thing is, like, Sagat has fucking chip damage. I was blocking. He needs, I think it was between two and three um, tiger shits. And then I'm just dead, even though I block. That's how heavy the chip damage is. And then, you know, sometimes the fucking dragon fire deals the, the health of the bar. Sometimes it deals quarter. Sometimes it deals, like, 10% of the fucking health bar. No consistency at fucking all there, you know? And then you have fucking assholes like Lee who just fucking jump flipski over the entirety of the fucking screen as well as gun. Again, like, Jesus Christ, this was dog shit. I'm never gonna be doing this again. That's for Ding Dong, damn sure. However, we finished the worst of the bunch. Now the only way is up. And next time we're actually taking a look at, or we're gonna be taking a look at Street Fighter 2 World Warrior, which was released in March 1991. 
two months before my birthday, actually. I was born in May 1991, the old ass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just uh, right before my bir uh, birthday, basically. Nice. Okay. And this one, 1993. I was, yeah, two years old at this point, actually. All right, then. As I mentioned, that was it for uh, Street Fighter, the original one, the one that started it all. I uh, Again, as I also mentioned during the playthrough, I have no idea how this was so popular that it actually made the best, in my opinion, the best um, 2D beat-em-up that there ever, ha there ever has been. But here we are today, you know, but that was it for this one. A little look through the museum and everything, and uh, obviously a look at, again, Street Fighter 1, the worst of the bunch. And next time, we're going to be taking a look at one of the best games, fighting games, that has ever been created. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit. I definitely sure as fuck didn't. And I hope to see you in the next one.